brothers and sisters our Lord Jesus is before us as he looks at us let us look at him having a loving gaze on our Lord Jesus Christ Today, Pope Francis has called the entire world people of different religions 
to come together in prayer, fasting, and doing charity, imploring our Lord, merciful God to eradicate the COVID-19 pandemic from the face of the earth. And as we are in our homes, spiritually participating in this evening prayer and adoration, let this be our sincere intention, praying to our Heavenly Father that He may have mercy throughout this world, that He may take control of the world and completely eradicate this virus from the earth. Let us then, spiritually, let us sing this evening prayer. Thank you. 
As we continue to look at the Lord Jesus Christ in the silence of our hearts let us listen to him as he wishes to speak to us a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Come to me all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads and I will give you rest Take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me because I am gentle and humble in spirit and you will find rest For the yoke I will give you is easy and the load I will put on you is light.
Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, our Lord is a mighty and powerful God. Only He has a power to create and to destroy the universe. When he said, let there be light, and there was light. He created and designed this beautiful universe. But later, man became the slave of sin. Because of his sinfulness, once again, God shows his authority over the universe by destroying the whole world. Later, he makes a very strong promise. Genesis chapter 8 verse 21, he says, I will never again curse the ground because of humankind for the inclination of human heart is evil from the beginning. I will never again curse the ground because of humankind for the inclination of human heart is evil from the beginning. Our God is everything. Without Him, we are nothing. 
we cannot imagine our existence without his presence in our lives he is our protector in times of our difficulties he is our guide in times of our confusion he is our consoler in times of sorrow he loves us because we are precious to him he loves us because we are created in his image and likeness he never lets us down therefore in the gospel passage our lord invites us to go to him come to me all those who are weary and carrying heavy burden i will give you rest come to me all those who are weary and carrying heavy burden i will give you rest says the lord why should the weary and the heavy laden has to go to christ because christ gives them rest christ gives rest to the struck and wine without money and without cause just dear brothers and sisters today the whole world is thirsting for healing the whole world is thirsting for the cure from this corona virus only our lord can quench this thirst though it is without cause our faith is a price that we have to pay for it therefore let us have a very strong in our god hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says without faith it is impossible to please god one who approaches god must believe in his existence as we are present before the lord in faith let us surrender the whole world into his hands our lord says in the gospel of matthew chapter 21 verse 22 whatever you have asked for in prayer with faith you will receive Whatever you ask for in prayer with faith you will receive believing in these words let us accept our helplessness before him and surely the merciful god will heal the world from this deadly disease in this time of crisis the whole world is living in fear but our lord fills us with the courage and hope saying do not fear i am with you do not fear i am with you let us believe in his strength let us believe in his power First Peter chapter 4 verse 7 says Cast all your worries on him because he cares for you Cast all your worries on him because he cares for you 
in this time of crisis dear brothers and sisters let us not think that the lord has abandoned us no our lord still loves and cares us he does not take pleasure in our suffering but he wants us to realize that without him we are nothing psalm 23 verse 4 psalm says when i walk in the valley of darkness no evil would i fear because the lord is there to comfort me Yes, our Lord is ever ready to help and comfort us. Therefore, in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1, our God says, Do not fear, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. The flames will not consume you, because you are precious in my sight. You are precious in my sight. Let us strongly believe in these words of our protector and surrender this world into his motherly protection. Let us surrender the whole world into the hands of our God. Let us surrender the humanity those who are fighting against the deadly virus. Let us ask the Lord to bless us. Let us ask the Lord to purify this world with His precious blood. Let His mercy flow upon the broken areas of this world. Thus, we may be cleansed and purified from this deadly virus. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on those who are suffering, those who are fighting against this deadly virus. Lord, have mercy on the health workers. Lord, have mercy on the whole world. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy.
my dear brothers and sisters we are here in the presence of our lord jesus christ a lord and god the creator of the universe a lord and god who gave us a gift of life a lord and god who died as for our sake on the cross to save us from the grasp of satan and sin this very jesus christ is before us who has given us each and every good things that we have in our lives can we come before him with a distressful heart can we come before him with sadness can we come before him with sorrow no oh, my dear friends we can only be in his presence with a grateful heart in the book of job we see job lost everything his family his near and dear ones his property his wealth and even his health but not once did he curse god not once he went against god rather when his friends asked him to curse god he came before the lord with nothing but a grateful heart and so though we are suffering with this pandemic our lord has given us so many beautiful things in our life maybe this wonderful time we have spent with our family hundreds and thousands and lakhs of people those have come down to do charity towards the less privileged people the gift of doctors and nurses who playing on their life give their everything to save the people from this dreadful disease and many more things my dear friends we can go on counting endlessly and therefore we need to come before him with only and only grateful hearts and so let us now join our voices together and let us magnify the lord let us sing his praises as mary did <laughs> choose me i chose you i appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that shall last alleluia Says our 
distress of global chaos of confusion and turmoil we come before the Lord the true shepherd the good shepherd He knows the answer to our each and every problem. He can lead us to the solution of all our turmoils, of all our questions. He can lighten our burden. He can walk with us in our times of trouble, in our times of distress. This very good shepherd is right before us. And now is a time, my dear friends, that we ask our good shepherd, Lord Jesus Christ, to be our guide, to be our way, to lead us to salvation, to lead us to all solutions to lead us out of this chaos and out of this turmoil may lead all of us may lead our parish our families may lead our nation all the government leaders may lead the entire humanity out of this chaos out of this pandemic And so, as we lay our petitions, let us sing along and call out to this good shepherd to show us the true way. Oh, 
Dear brothers and sisters, let us spend a few moments in expressing 
our intentions to the Lord, the Eucharistic Jesus, so that we experience it, its intervention in our lives. Let's join in singing the response. God, we know that everything is in your sovereign control. We ask that you keep the coronavirus from continuing to spread. Give government officials the ability to safely handle people arriving from other countries. Help people decide to stay home instead of traveling or going out needlessly. And while it may be heartbreaking, comfort families as they decide to keep their distance from elderly or other high-risk family members. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, during your ministry on earth, you showed your power and caring by healing people of all ages from physical, mental, and spiritual ailments. Be present now to the people who need your loving touch because of COVID-19. May they feel your power of healing through the care of the doctors and nurses. Take away the fear, anxiety and feelings of isolation from people receiving treatment or under quarantine. Give them a sense of purpose in pursuing health and protecting others from exposure to the disease. Protect their families and friends and bring peace to all who love them. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Dear Lord, we lift you our concern for people who are more likely than others to become severely ill from COVID-19. The elderly and people with chronic health conditions, protect them from harm and be their comfort in this time of uncertainty and for many, prevent you isolation from loved ones. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me when you 
coming to your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. God, as more people get sick, healthcare workers are working longer hours with fewer supplies and with more risk of contracting the coronavirus themselves. Renew their energy and sustain them on long shifts. Bring your protection upon them as they work with patients. Inspire the research doctors developing better tests to diagnose the virus, create vaccines to prevent it, and identify protocols to eliminate the disease's spread. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me. Father, we seek your wisdom daily. Be with people making decisions that affect the lives and futures of our families, communities, countries, and the wider world. We pray that they communicate clearly, truthfully, and calmly with each other and with the public, and that their messages are received and heed it. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Holy Spirit, as families adjust to everyone being home, as businesses and schools close, we ask that you guide people in their new realities. Give spouses grace for each other. Prompt worn-out parents to seek words of kindness and encouragement to their children. Help children find creative ways to experience the beauty of all you have created and continue learning. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness in how you have guided and equipped people in their jobs and have provided in the past. As people feel financially constrained during the uncertainties, bring them comfort and peace, reminding them that you are there for them. Provide for them in their times of need. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me. 
scattered throughout our country and are living in fear and anxiety. We pray that the government authorities take appropriate steps to help them through proper means of transport to reach back home safely. We place this intention at your feet and sing. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Lord Jesus, when you walked on this earth among humanity. You showed your mercy to the sinners and forgive their sins. You showed your mercy to the sick and you healed them. You protected all the lowly, all the humble of heart. And therefore, Lord, here we are before you on the behalf of our community, on the behalf of our parish, on the behalf of our whole humanity, placing all the prayers for mercy and protection before you. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, let us continue to be more closer to the Lord who is present in front of us in this more blessed sacrament. Let's plead for his mercy and love and protection. Let your response be, have mercy on us. Have mercy, have mercy on, on us. O God, creator of heaven and earth, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O God, protector of heaven and earth, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O God, who renews the face of the earth, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O God, who fill us with love and compassion, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Let our response be, we praise you and we thank you. We praise you and we thank you. O God who leads the believers in truth, beauty and love. We praise you and we thank you. O God who binds us in love, unity and peace. We praise you and we thank you. O God, who brings us joy in our sharing with others, we praise you and we thank you. O God, who reveal yourself in the poor and the uncared for, we praise you and we thank you. O God, the work to the physicians, nurses, cleaners and voluntary workers, we praise you and we thank you. O God, who gave us dedicated police to take care of our safety and NGOs to feed the hungry. We praise you and we thank you. Let your response be, grant them your mercy and protection. Grant them your mercy and protection. O oh God, we pray for those who died of Corona and for their family. Grant them your mercy and protection. O oh God, we pray for our country shattered by economy and livelihood. Grant us your mercy and protection. O oh God, we pray for those who are in the process of finding suitable medicine for Corona. Grant them your mercy and protection. O oh God, we pray for those who are suspected or affected by Corona. Grant them your mercy and protection. O oh God, we pray for those who struggle to change their life, caught up with drinks and drugs. Grant them your mercy and protection. O oh God, we pray for those who sow the seed of love and unity, and even for those who sow the seed of hate. Grant them your mercy and protection. O oh God, we pray for those who struggle to create 
a new heaven and the new earth grant them your mercy and protection Dear brothers and sisters the lord says do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid at this moment we are here to surrender ourselves in his hands there are so many people who require our prayer let us surrender them in the hands of Jesus this wonderful time you have spent with him let us keep kneeling 
and prepare ourselves to worthily receive the blessings of the Eucharistic Lord. May His grace ever flow upon us. May His grace ever flow upon our country and the entire world. And may through His mercy and protection, this world may be saved from all harm, from all turmoil and all chaos. sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we beseech you, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever fail within us the fruit of your redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh uh -huh. 